brainchild. Cormac was curating all the cultural stuff over in Milan for the World Fair. And he came to me and said, I'd really like to do a showcase the new music that's coming in from songwriters. And so I immediately went to John. Wouldn't it be great to have a bunch of musicians who create music and create traditional music? You know, which just seems a strange concept in a certain way, like, you know, but, but it's ever expanding. And that's when it's probably Brennan comes into the mix, Cormac's already there, and then it's Brother Eamon King, the tune writer. And it was the first time we'd all come together and didn't really know how it was going to work. All of a sudden it came into focus of what it could be like. You know, this beautiful music, you know, the kind of a, a mix between like that clanet sound, of course, which is unmistakable. And then this new form, which is coming in. And I remember seeing in Dublin and you and I having that chat about why don't we invite some more members in and make it more of a collective. So it's a collective of writers. And that's when Macaulay comes in and Dave Curley and Kathy and Colin. I was very uh, disappointed actually to know I was uh, the last to be asked into the Crown Noel Collective. You know, I still have to you know, come to terms with that. And a question as a songwriter that I'm asked a lot is how does it work with all these different writers and styles so it doesn't sound like an album that is very disjointed as you're moving track to track. So you have a wonderful arranger and John on these pieces and then a bunch of musicians who are at the top of their game who are keeping a common sound that is moving forward so the story might be different with each track but the sound is a similar journey. Far away from you here, so far away. The crops have failed and all around grows bare.